Guys, this is gonna be the biggest news you will see on Kintor and Pyrolutamide in 2023. So Kintor has made a very unexpected announcement regarding their latest clinical trial number three in China on 740 subjects using 0.5% pyrolutamide twice a day for 24 weeks. Now, since this announcement happened yesterday, the 27th of November, the stock price of Kintor Pharmaceuticals, as you can see it here, took a huge nose dive almost 40% yesterday. Today, it's still trading like 35% discount compared to the last week's closing price. So what happened? What made the investors and shareholders of Kinter Pharmaceuticals panic so much that they are now selling? I think it has actually something to do with our latest news regarding pyrolutamide 0.5%. So make sure you stay tuned, everybody. And before we start, as always, quick shout out to our sponsor, GoFiber. These are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber, get a free sample of your choice and try them out. See if you like them. All right, welcome to Let's Get Hair everybody. In today's video, we are gonna be covering Kintor Spiralutamide 0.5% uh, topical anti-androgen treatment uh, for hair loss, something that I've been covering on the channel over the last three years. We have been very patient and uh, very very excited to see potential commercialization of this uh, treatment. Unfortunately, something came in the way. So before I share the bad news, guys, uh, here is what has been happening to Kintor this year. So two major updates. Number one, they started the trial, that the results of which I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. It has been done on 740 subjects. They finished the enrollment in uh, March, 2023. And it its six month results we'll be discussing in today's video. What happened additionally was they started this year another safety trial, so called long term safety trial, on 270 male and female AGA patients. Uh, it's 52 week trial, results of which um, we can see probably next year around the summertime 2024. So in the meantime, the results of the first trial on 740 subjects uh, utilizing 0.5% pyrolutamide twice a day have been published. Now, uh, here is the news, guys. So if you go to the Chinese page of Kintor, kintor.com.cn, and then head over to the announcement section. Uh, you can see the latest announcement from the 27th of November. Now, uh, let me read through it. So first I thought it was fake news, but unfortunately it is not. So the board of directors announces uh, that the top line results of phase three clinical trial uh, of KX826 topical treatments for male androgenic alopecia have been read out. The, this phase three clinical trial is a multi-center randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study to evaluate the efficacy and safety of topical topical use of KX826 twice daily at a concentration of 0.5% in the treatment of male AGA adults in China. Now, they deliberately chose the 0.5% concentration twice a day because that has been established as the best concentration to combat hair loss, to provide the best hair thickening and uh, hair count improvements per square centimeter uh, from the second trial, results of which you can, uh, you can check in this video that I already made on this. Now, the results were pretty promising. We have seen roughly 15% of target area hair count improvements after 24 weeks. Already the net improvement if we already subtracted the placebo results. Very promising results. I didn't expect what you are about to find out in a minute. The main endpoint of this study is the average change in a non velus target area hair count, TAHC, very important metric for evaluating efficacy of any hair loss drug for hair regrowth, compared to baseline at, and at the end of 24 weeks. Safety endpoints include the type, incidence, and severity of adverse events. The results, let's have a look. The results showed that the overall safety of the trial was good with KX826, demonstrating excellent safety profile and no serious adverse events was reported, which is great. No side effects, we love it. 
After 24 weeks of the treatment, target area hair counts of the treatment group showed that KX826 promoted hair growth compared to the baseline with statistical significance, which is great. That means it produced more hair growth at the 24 week mark compared to the zero. However, compared with placebo, there was target area hair count improvement at all visit points in KX826 group with no statistical significance. And this, the most important three words of this report. So it seems like the treatment group of using 0.5% uh, pyrolutamide utilizing it twice a day did experience hair regrowth compared to the week zero however compared to the placebo group at the 24 week mark there was no statistical significance that means the results uh, obtained in the placebo group were likely pretty pretty similar in terms of target area hair count the trend in efficacy in the treatment group was observed very surprising findings guys i'm, I'm really unpleasantly surprised a little bit sad expecting some more explanation and some digits and numbers unfortunately this quick release is not providing us with more insights so the only thing we have right now is just to wait for more explanation however the general consensus is true that it did not work as good as we would have expected here the other thing that we have right now is also to wait for the trial on uh, 270 uh, males and females the safety trial that will be uh, evaluated and the results of which will be probably um, see next summer so maybe we get also more data from it and see whether this was just a uh, coincidence or whether this is going to be confirmed that uh, it's actually not that effective. The company will continue to analyze the results of the phase three clinical trial in the future and the group will further conduct multiple clinical trials of KX-826 for topical treatment of AGA and acne, exploring the possibility of the commercialization of KX-826. There is also some disclaimer to the investors uh, that there is no assurance that KX-826 six will ultimately be successfully developed and marketed by the company shareholders and potential investors of the company are advised to exercise caution when dealing in the shares of the company i take these results seriously uh, i would love to see more you know breakdowns and graphics and charts and see what numbers uh you know they were able to obtain from it uh and why it didn't work uh, so that's really the bad news that uh, I had the feeling that I need to share with you as soon as possible, guys, because I also haven't uh, shared any update on Kintour this year. So at least I try to be as fast as possible this time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as negative as it sounds, I hope there will be more uh, clarification in the next coming weeks and months. I'm going to be covering uh, any important piece of news uh, on Kintour. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are not. Uh, like and comment below what you think about this news is it something that you have expected is it something that you've seen coming or you know i probably i i didn't see this coming and i and i wish it would have turned out differently uh, with that being said guys thank you so much for watching check out the link in the description below where you can learn more about my consulting services where i can help you out one-on-one -on -one, figuring out the hair game helping you find the right hair transplant clinic for your expectations budget and hair type make sure you check this out if you're interested and i'm going to be seeing you soon again in another video take care